Welcome everybody to another episode of Renegade's Garage. In today's episode, we are making a rear cargo basket for my two-door Wrangler. So this idea comes from the four doors where you might buy an actual basket that bolts to the tub where the hard top bolts to the top of the tub at. But I've either not really seen that many for the two doors or most people don't, I guess don't like it for the two door. I don't know. But I've been doing a lot of camping lately, as you know, I need more storage. So I'm going to be pulling my rear seat out and we're going to be making a bracket to adapt the four door basket or cargo tray to my two door. So stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so after a quick supply run and some figuring out, here's the idea I came up with using this angle conduit inch and a half and some exhaust clamps I'm taking the idea what's similar to best top style rack for back here well, I'm doing the hose clamp, uh, not hose clamp exhaust clamps around my roll bar I'm going to a piece of conduit down on each side and one across the back then this one's right here it goes across the back that holds this basket in place. A couple of things I want to be doing slightly differently. I was like, I cut this piece back in case anybody's wondering. It's a you need a five, one five foot section for here, and then one four foot section for there. Then I had extra for these, so I'm gonna say you probably need three pieces of this conduit. And then, however you want to do your basket. Like I said, this one came with a kit. Um, the kit was 175 bucks. I'm roughly 200 bucks in my setup right here at the moment. But I'm gonna pull this all back apart. I'm gonna cut this piece down. And you cut a longer piece for the back because that was a piece I just happened to have. And you cut it, my spare piece over there, down. Cut it down because I want these to be square. So I'm gonna do right now. I have a nut with washer, the nut set up right here. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bolt it, I'm gonna bolt it all straight together because then I'm gonna weld that in and hopefully make it a lot more stronger. So I'm gonna pull this back apart and we'll go from there. Okay. So without the basket in place, here's a little better idea. I like said you got the exhaust clamp to the angle, and then down. Right now this has one bolt holding it in there and there. I'm gonna take this piece out, strain these back out. I'm gonna cut a piece that is exactly the right length. Then I wanna weld these corners, help weld it all in. Then make it where it's more per where it actually clamps in up there in place a little bit more so, I guess. I don't know. Still working on figuring that part out. What? When I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Okay, in typical Renegade's Garage fashion, I got busy and forgot to keep filming, but here's the final product. So what I ended up doing was the exhaust clamps around and directly mounted to it. And when I brought it down, welded these joints together. So this is nice strong bond right here. Well, on all corners, sides, bottom, everything. So this is nice and strong. The bolt here, then bolt on the other side. I'm probably gonna do two in the middle once I'm I'll try to have it in here for a while, but for right now, it's just in here. And then same thing here. Went straight, clamp straight to this, to the angle, over, and did it straight across, and bolt there, bolt there. I ran a strap around my tote, so I got my off-road tote here, my grill for cooking while I'm camping here, tool bag here, and then my air compressor there. Obviously, this is not here stay here permanently. 
But for right now, I'm just trying to get an idea of how things are going to go. Right. Cooler there and dog bed here. So there you go.